Slump. So recently, we found out what the free PS Plus games for the month of May are, and the two PS4 games are Battlefield 5 and Stranded Deep. Now, I've already done a video covering Battlefield 5, but I haven't made a video on Stranded Deep yet. Today, that changes. I've played the game on PS5, and if you're someone who's never played the game on PlayStation and is looking forward to doing so once it becomes available as a free game in May, I've got bad news for you. It runs at 1080p since it never got a PS4 Pro patch, but that's not the real problem here. The major issue I have with this game is that it runs at 30fps. 30fps! The game literally has to render an island. That's it. Moving the camera feels terrible and extremely clunky with lots of input latency. The graphics don't even look that good for a 30fps game. There's tons of aliasing and popping is abundant. This game seems like it was poorly optimized to me, even on base PS4. This game should run at 60fps. Hopefully, since the game is free with PS Plus soon, and is getting attention again, the developers will make a PS5 version for it. That's really all there is to say about this game. I wouldn't recommend playing it on any PlayStation console. If you do decide you want to play this game, it is available on PS Now, right now. And at least it doesn't have any problems running on PS5. The experience here is the same as PS4 Pros. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more PS5 backwards compatibility reviews. I know that subscribe button is red for you. None of you are subscribed. So make that button turn gray. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.